Hello, how are you today? Hope you've been well. Today I wanted to do something pretty. This look is completely inspired by citrus fruits and I'm going to be using my Ben Nye cream palette, the one that I've been using this entire time. I started by doing a grapefruit on the side of my face. I do like looks that are off balance, a little avant-garde, so I went in and mixed a couple colours of that palette to get that grapefruit pink. And I'm applying it with a pretty small uh, applicator brush, forming the shape on the side of my face into a semicircle line from the centre of my forehead down to just below my cheekbone. I fill that in a little bit and I blend it out with a pretty dense buffering brush. Then I go back in on top of the eyelid underneath the eye and I blend it out a little more because I did want this look to be beauty-ish so it does have that classic makeup look to it. To blend it's just stippling for this one because I already have foundation underneath and that means it's already powdered and set I didn't want to create any swirling of products you know so it's a lot of blotting this did help the blend out as well into the foundation To set this colour, I go in with this shimmery coral colour from a Lime Lily palette that I got when I was in college. I don't even know if Lime Lily is still a thing, but I apply that with the brush I usually use as my blush brush. Here is my attempt of a blood orange. Now, at some point I realised this might be a bad idea. I try to make it work, but it... it starts to look like a bruise on my eye for a bit so you'll see me in a little distress shortly. I use deep reds here. Deep reds I've added a little bit of orange. I fill it all in like I filled in the pink one but this one obviously darker because it is the darker fruit. I'm using a medium foundation applicator brush here because it's not exactly a small area but it's not a big area either and we're just filling in that entire area with that color or the closest color you can get to it. Orange cream paint for the actual orange which is easy. I had to mix this one because I didn't have an orange in that palette, but I did alright. It's orange. To shade my grapefruit, I use a shimmery purple and a shimmery red that I've collected from Inglot Cosmetics into my Inglot palette, and I try to make that darker in the middle. I also use that shade to create some more definition into my eye for the grapefruit as well, just so it sort of matches by the end of it. I do some light contouring here because this is a beauty look. I use that dark purple shimmery shadow again. And with my white Colourpop crayon, I create the details. This crayon wasn't the sturdiest to use, but I mean, I, I made it work for this one at least. I'm using a reference image here just to follow the white lines of a fruit. This look is actually pretty straightforward when you think about it. It's very easy to do. You have all the images in front of you and you just go in with not even a steady hand. You just take your time with it and you'll get there. Creating the little slices here with my white crayon. Making sure when you get closer to the eye to lift up the crayon or whatever you're using just to make it look like it's tapering off. Try to get each different slice as even as possible, but I mean, nothing is as even as possible. This is fruit. Whatever happens, happens. We go in later with more details, so it doesn't actually have to be perfect. This was the most difficult thing. Not only did I feel like I had to repair what looked like a bruise, but the details on this eye were so hard. The white kept mixing in with the maroon and because it was so close to my eye and it wasn't a straight line, I kept having a lot of trouble with it. All the details were really hard to get. Do your best. At this point, I put the crayon down because it started to break on me and it was too thick for my eye. So I start doing the details with an angled brush, a small angled brush and white cream paint. On the bigger fruits, it works beautifully and because it's whiter than the crayon, the highlights look really, really nice. But as you can see on this eye here, oh man, it was a struggle. The orange was a little bit easier. It's the same thing. Whatever you're doing, you're doing to all of them. So it should get better and easier the more you do. 
but um, I lucked out on my first fruit and the rest are kind of okay. I wasn't originally gonna do eyeliner, I was just gonna put on some lashes and call it a day, but I did the eyeliner. And I think this is the first time on this channel that I've actually captured the winged liner. The irony here is because this is a avant-garde look, I don't care how straight my eyeliner is, but it turned out to be better than when I do it normally. So take that however you will, but I really liked my eyeliner for this look and I did it in a very, like my hand isn't even touching my face where usually I'm resting. So there's that. I do line the waterline. I can't remember if I lined the bottom lower line, but waterline, lashes, bam. And then I start shading. So whatever color of fruits you've chosen, go for the shadows that are the darker version of that color. I'm using a mix between a deep red and a deep purple here. And I'm shading the inner edges of the wedge. You can see what I'm doing because I'm struggling with words. And I'm doing that on the outside of every wedge and the center is lighter. This gives it a little more definition. It separates the different wedges completely. It makes it look a little, I don't want to say realistic, but that's the only word that it fits. More realistic than just cartoony, but also not hyper realistic like a painting painting. I do that with every single fruit. It gives it a lot more definition. It saves it a lot on the edges as well for a more 3D effect, and some detailing. I enjoyed this part a lot. It was very therapeutic. I go in with my angled brush, a very, very small angled brush, and I create some juicy bits. <laughs> I do that to all the fruits, and I apply a lipstick that I recently bought from MAC. This one's called Blankety. I really, really like it. It's finally like my perfect nude, and I'm so happy that I have it. I apply it without a lip liner because, I mean, it's an avant-garde makeup look. You can do whatever you want with it. I chose not to do a lip liner because of what I'm about to do next. I take gold shadow here to highlight my collarbones and some tendrils in my neck and some pink shadow to also add in some grapefruit essence to the dips. On my top lip, I accent with some yellow body paint like the one I used for the lemon and some gold to highlight that. And that is my citrus avant-garde look. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you stick around for more because I'm having a lot of fun making these. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.